everyone, Sarah Aston here. Hope you're well today. I want to talk to you about communicating with purpose. And we all I mean, we communicate all day, every day, in lots of different ways. Um, it can be face to face, it can be over the telephone, it can be on text, video, songs. It's all forms of communication. We're also delivering it in different ways from ourselves. So of our voice, our body language, um, the way we respond, all of these things are part of the communication process, hey Gretchen? And, and so it's important that you're aware of these things when you are communicating with people. Ultimately, you want to be thinking about what the goal of the communication process is and always be listening always listening to the other person or all the people that you're communicating because they are too communicating with you they're communicating on a subconscious level through the words that they use through the tone of their language through their body language i'm going to give some examples i like the things that you probably do without even thinking but once you become aware of them you can actually become much more powerful in the way that you communicate so the first one we're going to look at is the tone of your voice so let's a quick example. Say say I came in and said, Hi everyone. I'm Sarah Allison. Yeah, um it, my tone is very, very low. It's very I'm I'm staring off at the end of my words. It's it's I'm basically telling you that I'm miserable. Don't listen to anything I've got to say. But subconsciously, without saying the actual words, you're getting that from the tone of my voice. So, whereas if I was saying, hi everyone, I'm Sarah, I'm Sarah Allison, how are you? That's much more be, it's wanting you to listen to what I've got to say. It's it's more, um, it gets you involved. And so it's a much more powerful way of communicating. The next one is obviously the words that we use. And I don't just mean like positive or negative words. It can be, let's say for example, oh, nothing's ever going to work for me. That is such a generalised statement. So you can witness someone and, and be like, well, what do you mean nothing will ever work from you? How do you know that? Or get them to think of a time where something has worked for them. And this is all part of listening, obviously, as well. You're listening to what they're saying. But the words that they use will tell you what's really going on. Even if they're not saying the actual, describing what's going on, they are saying it in some of the words that they use. Another one is the questions that you ask. Without turning into the riddler, you do need to ask questions to understand where someone is at. And this is a huge part. If, I mean, if you're building a business, then questions are what's going to make the difference for you. You need to know where your prospect is at. And by asking questions in certain ways, you can really get to the nitty-gritty of what's going on. So say, for example, someone said, Oh no, I'm I'm not interested. Um, I'm not interested at the moment. I, I don't think it works. You could really start pulling that, not pulling it apart as in having a go at them. But you could say, so what in particular do you, do you think won't work? Do you think it doesn't work for anyone, or do you think it just won't work for you? And you can really start to unearth what's going on for them. And last one is your own responses. And I'm not just talking about your verbal responses talk about your physical responses and that could be as simple as a nod of the head show that you're understanding it can be a smile if they said something nice it can be a hmm that must be really hard it shows that you're actively listening to what they're saying you're responding appropriately to what they are talking about and this will all build rapport and ultimately when you're building rapport with someone once you're in rapport with someone then amazing things can happen this is when you're when you're in rapport with yourself or with your, your partner, for example, things are great. When you're both on the same page or you both know what you're talking about, you're really understanding one another, everything's fantastic. It's when you go out of rapport with someone that they're difficult to come out. And that's when you really need to look at your own communication. Are you communicating effectively? Are you communicating with purpose? And are you taking account of your own um tone, your words, your responses, are you are you responsible for them and are you playing an active part in that communication process? 
I think you found that useful. Um, communication is essential as human beings. It's what makes us human. It's, it's what stands us above and so it is important that you're aware of the subtleties of communication and it can make a real big difference in business so if you'd like to know anything more about this do get in touch and don't forget to like comment share and if you're on youtube subscribe to my channel take care everyone speak soon bye bye